Oh, she flushes her food away. I caught her the other day. You know that sandwich we had after we missed a dinner? That went in the bog along with the breakfast. Probably all other meals as well. well I wasn't going to say anything, but she's all right, is Keely. I wouldn't like anything to happen to her. I've tried talking to her. She won't listen. She won't admit there's anything wrong. Did you actually see her flush it down the toilet? Yeah. Thanks for telling me, Billy. You did the right thing, mate, honestly. Is it serious? Yes, it could be. Thank you for helping with Fiona. I didn't do anything. You've all been marvellous with her. She's not going home, is she? No. I just wanted to give you all a little treat. Oh, I think that's lovely. It's Keely. I was going to. Thanks. That's all right. Isn't that nice? Who is she? Fiona's mum, the girl who got knocked over. Really? Do you get it? The card? I think so. I picked this one for you. She's picking her nose, the girl on the front. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> Only didn't exactly pick it. I made it for you. It's good. Hey, have you seen what Stephen bought me? Who's Stephen? I told you before about Stephen. Works behind the bar at the club. He's ever so nice. Hey, give us a bit of chocolate. I'm starving. They don't even bring you a cup of tea in this place, do they? You can have it. I don't like chocolate. It gives me spots. I only want one piece. If I eat it all, I'll be as big as outside. Mmm. So what are we going to do? I don't know. My mother's just leaving. Shall I ask her to come into the office? What are we going to say to her? We don't know anything for definite. <laughs> we know she's getting rid of her food. One sandwich. Oh, come on. We've suspected anorexia for a while. It was the post-hepatitis symptoms that threw us off. I don't want to involve her mother at this stage. I'll speak to McHugh and see what he suggests. Well, at least we know now. She's been so clever at covering it up. They always are. Are you all right? Yeah. I was just thinking about a friend of mine, that's all. From university. She was anorexic. Every time I saw her, she'd tell me what a huge meal she'd just had. Like an idiot, I'd believe her. Then why shouldn't I? It never occurred to me that anyone would want to lie about something like that. Once I knew it all fell into place. Angela was a bright, intelligent woman. She would have been a doctor now. I was just... Get away from my bed! I know what you're doing. Well, you've no right to poke your nose into my business. You can just leave me alone. Get off me back. I can do what I want. It's my locker. Nobody else is mine. Yeah, be mine. What's going on? It's him. He's been snooping around in my locker. He thinks he's dead God. Well, he's not. I'm going to tell Dave about you know what, and I'm going to make sure you get done good and proper. Are you all right? No. What did you go to the locker for, anyway? Fun. Beats me. I know who that card's for. Do you know? Yes, I do. Who is it for? His name starts with a D. Well, that's where you're wrong. So there. I'm not. She's got really big edits since she had a nose done. I think she's nice. You would. Is the card for Darren? You what? I'm not telling. There isn't anybody else. Oh, yes, there is. Can't tell. Not for anything. All right, it's Dave Spencer. <laughs> it's his. I've seen her watching him. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, then. Don't believe me. See if I care. <laughs> They're going to tell him. What? That Susanna's madly in love with him. Get lost, Don. I need to think. He's a bit too old for her, though, isn't he? I couldn't care less about stupid. 
two be twos, I learned it. I'll get McEwen. Kill it's all right. You fainted. Billy, was... Shh, Keely, never mind. Don't try and talk. I think we'll have you into bed. Do you think you can stand? Right. You have a rest now, Keely. Dr. McEwen will be along soon. Hi. Do you mind if I join you? Suit yourself. I saw what happened. I don't know what it was about, but... You let her get away with it, didn't you? I always did that. I let people get away with everything. I used to dread going to school. If I came home with a bruise or a cut, my dad used to get so angry. Well, sometimes I'd tell the teacher, but then I'd get in trouble for telling tales. It wasn't that I was frightened of getting hit. It's just I don't like hurting other people. I've never hit anybody. Ever? No. You wouldn't have lasted two minutes in our school. I once had nine detentions in one term for fighting. I never started it, but I was always the one that got done. Teachers hate me, they do. I'm always getting picked on. Money missing, Billy Ryan. Graffiti in the box, Billy Ryan. Oh, fighting in assembly, Billy Ryan. Billy Ryan, Billy Flaming Ryan. Oh, what I need right now is a... What? Nothing. I don't need anything. Honest. It's the best thing about this place. Nobody picks on me. They're all too busy picking on me. You are pretty stupid sometimes, Gary. I get nervous. You'll be all right. I hope so. I really do. I mean, I want to be a good nurse. I feel great when I do something right, help someone. Only sometimes people don't know when you're trying to help them. Well, Keely, and how do you feel now? Great. Well, that is interesting. Because your body certainly doesn't feel great. And neither would mine if it was as desperately in need of nourishment as yours is. Now, that is why you fainted. Are you not hungry? I had a big breakfast. Well, for the time being, we're going to have to put you on a drip just to make I sure that, that you're... It is the only way, Keely. Because we can't have you starving yourself to death. Now, can Ali, we? Ali, Tommy, did drop a promise. Oh, please don't make me go on a drip, please. How do we know you won't make yourself sick? I won't. Honest. You can watch me all the time if you want. Well, perhaps you could try her on the drip tomorrow. See how she does today? Nice to see you later. All right, see you.